Well, hello, brothers and sisters. This is Radio, and today I've been reading for you Genesis chapter 19, part 4. <clears throat> the crowd still tried to get into Lot's house, even when they were blind. They were completely evil. The angels protected the house so that nobody found the door. Lot listened to the angel's message. He just had seen how completely evil his neighbors were. He was now responsible for his daughter's future husbands. God was giving a last chance for them to escape from the city. Lot was brave enough to go out again. He went out to warn those men, but they laughed at him. In Genesis, the name Isaac meant he laughed. The name uh, especially made people think about God's blessing. But here, when the husbands laughed at God, that was dangerous. The angels warned Lot that he should get out of Sodom quickly. Lot and his family needed to go immediately when daylight came. Lot probably had other married daughters in Sodom. Lot did not obey God immediately like Noah and Abraham did. Lot was in great danger. That shows again how evil the people in Sodom were. God showed how uh, great mercy towards Lot. But the people in Sodom were so wicked that God had to punish them. That was because God is holy. Lot, rep uh, Lot replied to God. He asked God to save Zor. Abraham, uh, Abraham uh, had also repelled to God. He loved the people in Sodom, and he cared about them, so he, so he had asked God to save Sodom. Lot, however, was selfish. When he asked God to save Zor, Lot uh, asked it because he needed a place to live, and Zor was a city. He thought that it would be a better place to live than the mountains, although the people there were not righteous. It was only a small city, so maybe God would be willing to save it. But God still did not hurry. He still wanted to do things in his own way. He was not willing to trust that God knew best. God answered Lot's prayer for Zor, although it was a selfish prayer. God destroyed Sodom and Gomorrah very quickly. The valley had been a very good place where food plants grew well, but nothing would grow there, and, w and one can still smell there. Lot's wife did not obey the did not obey the Lord, and so the Lord did not save her. She liked it to live in Sodom, and she did not want to leave. Maybe when she brought up her daughters, she did not teach them to trust God. Maybe she did not teach them to do the right things in their lives. She can't. She became a column of salt. When we first read that, it may seem very strange. But when God destroyed the cities in the valley, he sent fire and sulfur. No, wait. Sulfur. No. And when he used such great force that it pushed many substances from the ground into the air, many substances, substances mixed it together. So the air became full of some kind of salt. When Lot's wife turned, turned around, the wind blew the salt into her face. So suddenly she, she could not breathe, and, and, and then she died. The salt was so thick that it quickly covered her body. So then her dead body was just standing there like a column of salt. God thought about Abraham, and God saved Lot because of Abraham's prayer. God can save other people when, he, when, when we pray. Amen. Well, that was Genesis chapter 19. Uh, part four. Bye.